Sam, and I'm already hungry for lunch now after watching that. Yes, I think that that looked good. I'm sure it smelled amazing, but we're going to get through the forecast here with a cool time lapse of the cloud cover near Pueblo West. That was kind of thick at points, but thinned out. We still saw some sun once or twice there and a couple of cool photos. This ram from uh, Daniel Forster out of Guard of the Gods in front of the Kissing Camels. Pretty cool kind of juxtaposition there. Seeing the ram in front of a similar shape out behind it. This was neat, an inversion layer. Remember how foggy and cloudy it was earlier this week, but it was like sunny in Woodland Park? Well, that clear sky, uh, light pollution was a little limited from the clouds, so Lars Lieber was able to get a nice Milky Way exposure when he really let the light in, and Steve Shugart of the Wet Mountain Valley also caught a very beautiful Beautiful uh, sunrise there in the Wet Mountain Valley looking at the Sangres. Scattered storms, excuse me, are back in the forecast today, but in our area, El Paso County is kind of the most likely zone for them, and they're in the afternoon. I think that we'll have a little bit more rain, more thunderstorms from the afternoon to the early evening tomorrow, but the bigger stuff is really what happens on Sunday through next week. Heaviest rain is expected in the morning on Monday, and I think that we would see some thunderstorms through the end of the day Sunday. So if we get severe weather today, the chances of it are a lot better farther east, especially like east of Denver and Castle Rock. A few strong storms in eastern El Paso County are possible, and we're kind of watching for any development around Bach County after 2 or 3 o'clock. Temps today start off pretty nice, generally in the 40s and 50s, but with the sun, feels way better. It'll almost be hot for some of you in the plains later on until the cloud cover moves in. We'll have highs in the 70s and 80s out there, but let's talk about that extended. I just had a Twitter user, Nicole, say this is going to be a dreary week, isn't it? Yeah, because we are going to get that rain to come back in a little bit more consistent and broad on Sunday. It'll be overcast, and then we will keep overcast and rainy weather through at least Wednesday. Although Thursday, some storms are possible. So yes, it's a dreary week coming our way, but you know, the moisture is awesome. The moisture is what we want, so we just got to take it while we can get it. We had all that hot, beautiful, sunny weather last year, and then we had a bunch of fires. As we go to Pueblo, we are looking at a stronger storm chance tomorrow, just like El Paso County, just like Colorado Springs. I think Sunday morning could start out a little foggy or drizzly, and then we get the better rain Sunday afternoon. We have some heavy rain and some thunderstorms Monday, and then we see more storms midweek. Canyon City, I doubt we get any severe weather tomorrow. I think that the severe chances are a little better farther east. It's where the better dew points are, better moisture. I think that we are going to see some heavier rain on Monday and more storm chances to end the week. Finally, Woodland Park, I got us in the 60s to 50s, so we are going to get rain. We're going to have thunderstorms, but Monday is still probably the better day for that moisture. Let's hit